here you can see that uh, we have debrided the native stump of the ACL. Now it's very important to get a clear view of the lateral part of your thigh bone that is the femur and as you can see we are clearing that off right now. The native stump of the ACL is being cleaned. Here you can see after determining the exact location of where the, your graft should enter the femur, we are drilling the femur to accommodate the graft. Now after the femoral uh, drilling is complete, uh, we are assessing where to have our tibial drill so that you know we can accommodate the graft on the shin bone or the tibia. Now this is an arthroscopic procedure so everything is done through the keyhole other than taking the graft. The advantages of an arthroscopic procedure are your uh, recovery is faster especially with regards to the knee joint and the shoulder joint and you are able to get back to your activity sooner, the post-operative pain is less, you have less scars and of course yeah, the l risk of any infection is minimal. Yeah, so this is the guide pin over this we will be uh, drilling the tibial hole depending on the size of the graft which we had sized separately. It's not a part of the video since the graft sizing and part is done on the side table. So for this procedure we had chosen a size 8 drill and as you can see it is going to enter the joint soon. Yep, that's where it enters. Now after we do a bit of more cleaning up on the side of the femur and as you can see that's the part of the femoral hole where the graft is going to sit. As you can see it's nice and clean, just uh, taking off any other rough edges and so that you know there is no nothing rough rubbing over the graft once it passes into the hole. Now, I mean, it's a very small procedure, it takes about uh, one and a half to two hours, and uh, you're able to walk the next day. And if you are, you know, like into a sedentary kind of a job, you can resume it by three to four weeks. Now, as you can see with these threads, we are pulling the graft into the hole. The graft is fed through the hole in your shin bone, that is the tibia, and passed arthroscopically, and it's pulled into the femur in place. Yep, you see that white thing coming over, yeah, it's just stuck against our lens, so that's the graph, yeah, you see. So, it has uh, reached till the desired limit, the blue part of the graft is inside, and that's all, it's done. Now, after uh, we, after this, we will be testing the stability of the graft and whether it's tight or not, and once that's done, we are good to go. Now you may see a bit of movement there, that's because we are inserting a biodegradable screw on the lower aspect of the graph through the tibia, so hold it in place there.
see it's nicely in place and tight it's not at all moving now i'm applying considerable amount of force you see there is no buckling of the graft and it is sitting pretty tight that's it